welcome to my channel. This is Reading Truth to Real by Clara. I am Clara, and today we are reading truth. Today we're going to read for the collective. We're doing a love reading for the collective. And I did my prayers before I, um, I started uh, here, but I'm going to shuffle my cards on deck as I usually do. <sighs> wow, on the split. I got the two of cups. There's like a block in bringing in balance here. So someone wants to bring in balance, but it seems to be a block here. This is for all signs. Remember, someone is losing sleep here. It could be a Sagittarius and worry here. Someone who's been in and out hot and cold. In the blog, there's like a judgment going on. Someone could be dealing with karma or dealing with um, being indecisive here with judgment being in the block, like not, not able to make a decision. Someone here wants to come in or, or someone here sees someone as being fulfilled, as having money, having what they need, you know, feeling wealthy. Someone here wants to be loyal to you and become a family with you, come together. In the recent past, oh, my hair's just standing up. In the recent past, I see here this Capricorn, this King of Pentacles energy, someone wealthy, loyal, stable. Again, someone wants to bring loyalty to you with the dog in this picture and another dog in this picture. Someone sees you and wants to be loyal to you. You may also want the same. Someone could be feeling heartbroken about a situation at this current time, feeling disappointed, hurt. Yeah, someone could be an obsessive energy. Again, we have Capricorn here. In the recent past, we have the King of Pentacles. And in the future, we have someone who's coming into obsession. Someone could be very disappointed, heartbroken, feeling there's a third-party energy in the mix. Someone could have came in as a player in the past um, here. Or someone could be a player, but now they're like in their head, not getting any sleep, up late at night. This about this disappointment here. Someone could even be married or someone may want to get married now, but this person could be a player or was a player, but we're going to go deeper. I also see someone is about to leave a situation to go towards their wish fulfillment. Someone is coming into wish fulfillment or see someone as wish fulfillment here. Someone wants to leave rough waters here in hopes and fears. Someone could be worried about an ending, but someone could also be going through a transformation here. A home, someone could be worried like there's a marriage or relationship that's ending, that's coming apart because someone is transforming. Someone is changing. Someone may even get a shocking uh, news or message from someone here in hopes and fears looking for a change in a situation. And someone is going to tell you, that this earth energy is going to tell you how they want to grow things with you, how they want, they see you as home as well. And they also see like they want to grow roots with you. They want, they're also trying to grow financially. They may want to provide or, or they feel like they need more to provide. Yeah, there's a knowing here. You could also be dealing with a Gemini here. Someone was here breadcrumbing or not giving, you know, or giving to other people as well. Someone is blocking someone on that note. So if someone is breadcrumbing or not really giving or feeling like they've been manipulated somehow, whether it be through finances or different relationships where someone was playing games, being manipulative, someone here is blocking it. They're not tolerating that. And someone I feel is about to move on into something else here, trying to go after their happiness, not trying to stay in this situation here. Yeah, because they're going towards love. Someone here is going towards their happiness, towards love. Someone is miserable without someone here. And someone, again, is about to end something. And there's going to be a rebirth of a different situation. This person may be transforming as well. All right. Sorry, guys. We can't keep it together here. All right. So let's see what else we have. I'm going to use this deck. 
someone wants to go to someone, but they're coming in super slow or they're worried that they're not coming in fast enough, this person may need to take their time and do things slowly. They may have other responsibilities, so they need to come. Yeah, because with the Six of Pentacles, it's like someone wants to make something um, balanced. Someone wants to give, but they may be giving to other people as well. So they may not have a lot to offer because they're giving to others. How I got the judgment clarified by the judgment on um, block. Someone is blocked in making some kind of a decision here. And it's twice. It could be on both sides, two different parties. I can't make it up. There's love here. Someone has a lot of love, wants to offer commitment, something that goes the distance, wants to merge families, come together, even possibly have a baby together. If possible for some of you. Yeah, someone is fighting and standing up for this uh, relationship or fighting for, for a relationship here because someone is heartbroken but still like defending it. Still, you know, or someone could even as well. Someone could have been because there's multiple people here. So there's different situations going on. For someone, they could be... Uh, so hurt or so guarded because they have been hurt before, because they had heartbreak before. So they get very defensive and protecting their own heart is what I want to say with that. Someone is obsessive and worrying and even trying to come in like being sneaky or someone could be worried because someone is an obsessive, sneaky behavior. Someone could be worried that Someone is moving on to a new beginning, ready to leave, probably sneaking away. And someone is obsessive, probably watching, stalking this person, watching their every move, excuse me. But yeah, you want an ending of an old situation. You want to come into a new situation here with the world card. You want to travel. You're coming into success, travel, you know, seeing the world feeling good about yourself and just having a good time. You're moving away from anything that doesn't serve you or brings you down again. You're moving away from something here to go to your wish fulfillment. This is the same card twice. This is the six of swords in two different decks. So you're going to leave someone to go to your wish fulfillment. You're ending an old cycle to go to a new cycle. Could be this Capricorn here going through a transformation, ending something, ending a home life, transforming themselves, moving on. There may be a shocking epiphany. Yeah, someone here wants to elevate, wants to commit to you. Someone wants to build a home. Someone may want to marry you, propose to you. There's equal love here. Someone sees you as the divine empress. They see you as everything they see you as mother. They see you as creative, as creating your world. They see you as very elegant, a very high value person, a caretaker, someone who births new ideas and creativity, full of love. Someone could be here in a lot of remorse or someone is going to be in remorse for being sneaky Someone could have been very toxic as well. I want to get very toxic and sneaky. Or someone is going to be very toxic and sneaky. You may find out about this sneaky behavior. This person could be cheating, lying, stealing. You know, there's things that, that is going to come to light. Something that they're going to miss. And you're going to find out about it. And you're going to leave that situation. And Capricorn is crazy because you're here as well, because this is the double card. But this also represents someone who's toxic. This this could represent, you know, it doesn't have to be a Capricorn. This is anyone in toxic energy, being sneaky, deceiving, you know, trying to be sly. But they're going to get caught with those two swords behind. Someone who keeps bringing conflict and chaos to you, you're going to leave that situation. To start anew, to end this old cycle with someone here who's done nothing but hurt your heart. 
you may have had to defend your heart, protect your heart, so to speak. Someone else may also be going through this in their life or has gone through this in their life. Someone is going to be a major regret because someone is going to leave the situation, start a new cycle with someone else, going towards their wish fulfillment, breaking up a home and just leaving to come into their own stability and actually come up in the world to be able to build on their own if they want to. This is all earth energy right up here. You have the seven of pentacles growing something new. Someone may, may want to birth a child with you, have a baby with you. Someone may want to get married, build a home, build a relationship, build a future with you. Someone sees you as very spiritual or high ranking. This person may also be very spiritual and high ranking as well in the spiritual realm. This person may also have a business or if not, they're high up in their company. They can provide. They're growing their money. That this person may be very stable. So you may be leaving someone sneaky, chaotic and, and just full of mess, full of lies, because this is lies. This is, you know, a lot of conflicts, a lot of problems here. Someone being very sneaky, someone that's always going behind your back, possibly cheating or lying to you. And this person is going to be a major, major regret. Maybe it could be this Gemini or it could be this Sagittarius. Because I feel like this earth sign is the one that's going to come in building. Yeah, someone wants stability with you. This Gemini may want new a new foundation with you. Like they may be trying to fix something after they put 10 swords in your back. Seeing things differently now. Yeah, but someone is coming in with a lot of communication for you. And the sun card is in the bottom. This is communication that's going to make you very happy. This communication is going to make you very, very happy here. This is the sun card and this is happiness. This is joy. This is yes, you are going to go on towards, you know, what's meant for you. You're the also the queen of cups, very emotional, loving, kind, a mother figure, someone who takes care of everyone. Yeah, you're going to end the situation with someone. You're ending something here. There's something you're going to find out that's going to literally push you to where you need to go because you're going to be done with someone here. You're about to be done. Let's see what else we have. I can't take the separation any longer. So someone is just going crazy over a separation that's happening at this time. I play the songs you sent me on repeat. I let our differences get in the way. I want to do many things with you. I'll take quite a few here. All right, let me start it from here. We have a special bond, a special bond I can't explain. I can't get enough of you. I envision our life together. I dream of you often, and this is your soulmate. At the bottom, I have a lot of burdens and stresses. So someone could be going through a lot of stress. I feel you have someone else. So someone could feel like you have someone else, like you've moved on from them. Oh my God, this card is about to go. Hold on. Okay, so I'm going to take these last couple of ones. I am deeply in love with you like never before. I want to treat you better than before. I want union. I want to touch you. I'm going to leave it at that. Someone, someone loves you. Someone cares about you. Recognition. The divine will help you recognize signs and miracles. The universe is guiding you to that special person. Allow everything to take its natural course. So no matter what's going on at this moment, don't worry about it. Because one ending is going to bring in a new beginning. And it's going to be a very good beginning. Look at these last two cards on here. Surprise. You may be, su you may be about to be surprised. So someone may surprise you here. And it may be an offer of marriage. 
A marriage of souls is a union of two divine counterparts blending together. So someone could be in love with you, wanting to marry you. With the Ace of Cups here, I believe I saw it twice, the Ace of Cups here. Yeah, you need to let that old person go because the power of love is like a magnet, a magnet drawing souls together. So someone is magnetically attracted to you and vice versa here it's like the yin to the yang it could be a, a twin flame soulmate connection here so like the yin and yang symbol twin flames connect i'm sorry like the yin yang symbol twin flames contain an aspect of each other's character within themselves like i said this could be a twin flame a past life connection we reunite with our loved ones over and over again through many life different lifetimes or different lives so yeah it's so enlightening as well but yeah this person could also become enlightened to the situation as well here let's see what else we have let go of control issues so someone may have control issues here soulmate yes this is your soulmate and for someone you may need to pay attention to the red flags the signs are cautioning you so maybe this person this toxic person you're dealing with is like it's telling you pay attention because someone is being sneaky and then here we have very soon clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now at the bottom, you have new love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. At the top of the deck, keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. Last deck. As I split it, someone may want to date you, take you on a date, be chivalrous, loving to you, caring, bringing you flowers. Someone sees you again as a soulmate. You may see this person as a soulmate, soul family. Yeah, someone is very mature with maturity here. You may have an older uh, family member who's passed on guiding you or your person. Someone wants intimacy with you. Your soulmate is wanting intimacy with you. The rainbow reviver. Someone could also be be careful because someone that's coming in may come in as like they're bringing happiness back into your life. But, you know, it could be a distraction is what I want to say. So be careful with that and be careful with surprises because with the red flags, you know, you may get a good surprise from one person, but you may get a bad surprise from the wrong person or the person that has been sneaky abundance marriage very soon so you're going to be married and you're going to have a lot of abundance you're going to have a love that's true i'm going to leave that at that yeah this is a soulmate connection it came up again what else do i have for you i think i'm going to leave it at that Guys, this was the collective reading for you guys. I love you. Namaste, love and light, and God bless. Until next time. Bye. Oh, also check out Tim at Tampa Beauty School on North Florida Avenue. And I will put in the address um, at the end of this video somewhere. But guys, I love you. Namaste, love and light. And until next time, my loves. Bye-bye.